What is up guys? Welcome to Revan Step. So today well, I'll be selling the HPA transmission mount. So I mean there's not much to say. The first thing I have to do is uh, pretty much jack up the car. With that being done, let's get under the car and show you what we have to do. I'm not sure how much light you guys have here and how well you can see. This is this is the front of the car here. Here's the part we have to change. This right here and this right there. Uh, again, I have the 034 mount or insert, which I'll have to take that out. I have to take the inside mount or cut that out as well as remove the mount itself. So also we're going to have to loosen this bolt and probably I think we might have to take this out. I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe we have to remove this. And this will be very interesting to see how I'm going to do it because this is blocking this, so I'll probably have to use a wrench or something. Um, yeah, let's let's get going. Let's see what we can do. And one thing I wanted to discuss is this little part. It's a sleeve that uh, comes with the packaging. I'm not sure why or what it will be used for. And also there's this bolt. So I'm not sure if the sleeve goes on this bolt for a reason. Because you can see where the, the thread starts. It's where the sleeve ends. So I'm not sure if that's there to cover some of the space. Apparently it says the, the older mounts with the older design, they need to use that sleeve. With that being said, I'll have to figure that out. So let's go ahead and do the first thing and let's take out the mount. And by the way, it's really hot out. It's like 90 degrees and very humid. Alright, I'll set you guys there. I'm not sure how well you can see. And one thing I'll say is use an extension or I guess a torque bar or whatever you want to call it. That way you'll get a little bit more leverage. As you can see, simple. You just gotta take it out. Alright. There is the bolt. So here is the 034 mount that should come out, but it's not. So I'm going to take a screwdriver and see if I can pry it out. There we go. It's coming out slowly. And there it is. This is a 034 mount. It looks like it looks like it's done the job very well. It's a bit bent, but in general, it seems to be okay. Next step is I'm gonna take a utility knife and cut the mount around. As well, look under the seat. Everything seems to be lined up. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut the mount with a utility knife and then try and take that out. All right, here's the utility knife. I just gotta see where I have to cut. Um, my guess is here. All right, guys, I think I got it out. Oh, there it is. So, all I had to do is just cut right here and then cut right here. And it's pretty much done and this is the mount so now comes the hard part where I have to take this guy out but first because this is not attached I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and take the, this elbow out first so we'll see how it goes let's start working on it I'll be back with it well guys what is happening in Revenstep Garage Two things. One, I had to delay the mounter stall for a day, so the car was sitting on jack stands for a day because I did not have the 18 millimeter wrench and the 18 millimeter socket. The problem is this ball right here, if you guys can see. So, is this guy right here, which already loosened up, as you can tell, it's already moving. So you need a wrench here and a socket here to be able to loosen that up. I did not have that. You can see the the inside of the mount is out. So 
this is out I have to remove this I have to remove these two bolts so this little elbow can come out and then I'll have to remove them out so this is what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna replace them out completely hopefully this time I have all the tools that I need and I'll set you guys right over here so you guys can be part of the action and as you can see even though this this is out I'm not sure who put it this way or why they put it that way even though this is out I guess for safety reasons if you lose the nut over here by any chances this too can come out because this bolt doesn't have anywhere to go the tranny is right over here so you have to remove these you have to drop these two so the thing can come out so that's what I'm going to do next and for these you can use a 17 millimeter or a 5 8 the 5 8 works very well for me because that's what I actually have And you can see it's very simple, just got to remove them. They're long bolts. And you can see this is loose, this way you can just take it out and it comes out. The first thing I notice between the OEM one is how thin the OEM one is. And it's, it's pretty light. But this one is way lighter and this one is thicker. It's a thicker design. It's way lighter. Here's a comparison between both. You can see what, pardon me of the mess over here. But you can see the comparison between both. You can see how thicker this one is designed. And let's actually set them up the way they're supposed to. But you can see the design of this. This is a lot thicker and it's a lot, a lot lighter too. I mean, by a lot lighter, I mean by a few ounces. But hey, that, that whatever helps, right? This one looks really good. This, not so much. This is probably gonna go in the trash or unless someone needs it, they can have it. So I'm gonna, the next step is before installing this part is I have to remove the OEM part of the mount before I can insert the HPA plug in there. So here it is, I have to cut this out basically or remove it with pliers I'm gonna try the my best with pliers first because I don't really have a cutting tool that will work for this scenario so I'm gonna try and use pliers here remove that of course wear some goggles because there's rubber coming out of this and you don't want it in your eyes so I'm gonna do that next I will stop recording because this might take a minute and then I'll be back as soon as possible alright guys so this thing is almost out I had to cut it if you can see over here it's cut and I just used pliers and pulled on each end. So it's, yeah, there you go. It's about out. Uh, see, it's cut. So that makes it a lot easier to pull with pliers. What I want to do is this is a very rusty part. So what I'm going to do is after I install the mount, I'm going to paint over it. Um, I might even try to clean it up a little bit. I don't know. I might do that with my like off time. Uh, but it's this is very rusty. So I don't know if it would be a wise idea to let it keep on rusting. But then again, it will give me a good excuse to change this part, which I can get in aluminum. Lighter, because it's starting to rust at places too. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll see what I'm going to do. So next step will be, well, first actually let's compare the mount to the puck that HPA sent us over. So here's the difference. Here's our OEM mount right here. It's, it's a mess, I know, I, I did a lot of damage to it. And here's the HPA mount. Here is the 034 insert, which kind of goes like this in there. It's kind of hard to fit it now, but it goes in here. So, the 034, as I said, it looks pretty good. It's a little bit bent over here, but that was it, so nothing bad. Here's the HPA mount. This thing is going to go on there first. So, I'm going to go ahead and start installing that. I need to get some... Uh, I guess dishwasher detergent or something like that, put it around so it's a little bit easier to slide in. So I'm going to set you guys down there again and I'll be back when everything is ready to go. So I hope you guys can see this. I just put it in. I looped the outside with a little bit of uh, soap and it's actually pretty easy for it to go in. You just hit it and it's just going in. Uh, one question will be if I'm messing up right here, I need to get a flashlight and see if I'm lining up how I'm gonna adjust this because I don't know how I'll take it out if I have to take it out for any reason but let's uh let, let me get a flashlight so we can uh, see if it's going incorrectly yep 
we're all lined up I'm gonna leave it hanging like that for a little bit until I can put in the elbow in because that might be a little bit harder if it's all the way up and I'm just gonna start putting stuff back together hopefully it's a lot easier than it was to take it out I'm not really going to tighten this stuff all together yet I'm gonna try and temporarily fix it so I can if something happens I can align the mount correctly I'm not sure how well you can see aligning so what I did is first I put in this bolt because I wanted to make sure the mounts aren't gonna go anywhere it's gonna be fine so uh, sorry there's people watching anyway I put this in first then this was out of alignment so what I did is I got a big screwdriver and all I needed to do is move the engine a little bit up and towards the front of the car so I just plugged the, the screwdriver right here and there's a little like lip on the engine block and you can just move it and this can move the whole like puck and the whole mount and then you can adjust it so all I have to do now is just tighten these bolts and I think we'll be good to go I'll be back after I tighten up the bolts because you guys don't want to see that all right boys it's all done this you tighten it to 100 newton meters 40 40 70 so again 100 40 40 70 it's all tight this is what it looks like I think it looks great um let me get under the car so what do I think of the whole install very simple very easy it took me two days because I didn't have the right set of tools and then my car was not able to move because the, I already cut off the, the the rubber part of the inside of the OEM mount uh, what else alignment sometimes the engine would be out of alignment when you take the mounts and we switch the mounts it was kind of finding it to find out but with the screwdriver they showed you the method really simple took me a few seconds overall the install shouldn't take you more than an hour if you have the right tools and it was very simple I mean I would say from 1 to 10 it's probably like a 2 or a 3 except like little little problems like I had which is totally my fault overall great product uh, I can't wait to lower the car and start it right now so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna give you guys my impression in the next video of the mount I want to drive for, for a little bit uh, I want to practice starting like launching the car with it as well uh, I just received a new tune for, from 5150 which has the new TC control mode enabled so I'm gonna see how the car would take off Hopefully this install guy will help you guys run through the install. I mean, it, honestly, it's a breeze. It's really simple. Jacking up the car is a lot more difficult. Uh, <laughs> that's a joke. But overall, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video. Comment below what you think of the mount. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys later.